Hey everyone, my name is Tian. I'm a holistic nutritionist, yoga teacher, and professional artist, and I combine all three of those into classes and workshops for people who have stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and other mental health issues. And today we're going to be talking specifically about panic attacks and anxiety in relation to traveling. Now we're talking air travel, train, car, by foot, however but there is a lot of anxiety that comes up when we travel, even for those who may not have a panic disorder. There's a lot of unknowns, there's a lot of things that need to be planned, and this can really increase the stress response during that time. And my panic attacks and anxiety were so crippling at one point that I couldn't even leave the house or be alone. So I thought my traveling days were over, which was devastating because it's my favorite activity to do. But thankfully, over a decade ago, with the help of some health professionals, I learned about different remedies that I could bring with me that would help me get through that stressful time symptom free. And I'm here to share them with you today. With everything happening in the world right now, um, hopefully travel is going to be back on the cards. But once we do get back into travel, I think anxiety and stress levels are going to be at an all-time high. People are going to be anxious about getting on the move again, being around other people, all the restrictions they have to deal with. So I think this information is especially important right now. Um, I've been using these remedies for over 10 years now, and I've been able to push through my anxiety and my panic attacks and I've traveled to Europe and Japan. I've even flown to Australia back and forth by myself six times, something I never thought would be possible. So I wanted to share these with you today and hoping that these would help you if you're having um, severe anxiety or panic attacks and that's preventing you from doing the activities you want to do. So Before we go into these remedies, I just want to say always speak to your healthcare practitioner before you start taking anything new or you make any dietary changes. Very important. Um, All these remedies here have been studied extensively and I've been using them with my clients for almost 10 years now and uh, haven't encountered anyone who's had any adverse side effects. Um, but everybody's different, so it's very important that you go speak to your healthcare professional before you start taking anything new. So before we go over this anti-anxiety travel kit, um, I wanted to talk a bit about a few preparations that you could make before travel to really help ease um, stressful symptoms. So first things first, planning and preparation is so important, especially if you're doing international travel. Uh, You want to find out about rules and regulations about what you can bring into the country you're going to. Now, I have never encountered any issues bringing any of these items with me, Um, but the country you're going to could have certain restrictions, so make sure you find out ahead of time. And in terms of planning and preparation, just with the rest of your trip, uh, having a rough itinerary, writing down emergency phone numbers of the country you're going to, just being as prepared as possible uh, can help really relieve um, those symptoms of stress. We can't prepare for every situation, um, but it certainly does help keep us grounded and take the edge off when we know that if something does occur, we have plans in place or we have that information available to us. Um, So always planning and preparing. I'd spend many hours before my trips doing so, packing ahead of time, at least two weeks ahead of time to make sure I had everything. That really, really helped my anxiety. That was a big one. Second is watching your diet in the days before you're going to travel. Now this is especially uh, for air travel. Um, So you wanna make sure that uh, if you suffer from panic attacks, You really want to make sure your blood sugar is at an even keel in the days before you travel and the day of your travel as well. So if you find um, high carbohydrate foods and foods high in sugar um, tend to make you jittery or anxious, 
you definitely want to bring those down to a minimum and focus more on fats and proteins in your diets in the, the day coming up to your travel. Um, complex carbohydrates, some fruits, vegetables, those are the ones you want to focus on, but definitely shift your diet more towards good proteins and fats. That'll keep your blood sugar on an even keel and it'll help prevent those uh, ebbs and flows. Uh, when you have reactive hypoglycemia, let's say you eat something that's really high in carbohydrate and sugar, your blood sugar can spike up quite quickly and then your body will release adrenaline to attempt to bring it back down. But we know adrenaline, what that does to you, right? It, uh, it's that stress response. So uh, you definitely wanna be careful with that. Also, if you have any food intolerances or food allergies, you really definitely want to avoid those in the days before travel too. You want to avoid inflammation. You want to avoid um, overly salty foods as well, because um, that can cause swelling when you're air and you're in the airplane, and uh, you just want to avoid as much discomfort as possible when you're traveling. You want to feel good when you're traveling. So watch your diet beforehand, no alcohol, no soft drinks, avoid that stuff. Clean eating in the days ahead of your trip and especially the day of, and things will go a lot smoother for you. Um, it'll also help any stomach jitters that you tend to get uh, before you travel too. So I just wanna make a note, um, if you are traveling by air, uh, when packing liquids. So I have a couple of liquid remedies here and I've never had a problem with taking these on a plane, but what you need to do, and this is the current regulations um, for at least Canada and the United States and in Europe and in Japan as well. Those are where I've been in the last 10 years. Things could change, so always check ahead of time what the regulations are. But um, you can either buy or they'll have these little baggies. So you um, have a limit of one liter of liquids that you can bring in this bag. And each container can be no larger than 100 milliliters. So we have this one here. This one's only 15 milliliters. And then we have this one here. This is only 50. So those would easily fit the regulations. I put all my liquids in the plastic bag when I go through security. And then once I'm out of security, I like to have everything in one spot. So I'll take them out and I'll put them in my little remedy travel pouch. So organize yourself however you want to, but I like to have everything in one spot. That way I'm not fishing through it and having to take that just makes me anxious and stresses me out more. So the first remedy I wanna talk about today is lavender oil, lavender essential oil. This stuff is amazing because it works almost instantaneously. You don't ingest it. What you actually do is you take some of the oil, dab it on your finger, and then dab it under your nose and begin to inhale. And within like 10, 15 seconds, you will feel uh, your breathing slow down. You will feel cooler. You will feel the jitters start to relax. You'll feel your muscles start to relax. Uh, it's really incredible stuff, very potent. Um, it's also great around um, sleep time. If you have trouble sleeping on planes and trains and in cars like I do, uh, this is really nice. And also when you're like traveling on public transit, there's like all kinds of smells. This masks all those smells. So you just get a nice scent of lavender. Um, you can find this honestly at any grocery store nowadays and it's not that expensive. Uh, the best lavender oil I ever bought was in the south of France from this little farm and got like a nice big bottle and it was only 10 bucks and oh my god it just it smelled so good um but uh y there's so many great brands of essential oils out there right now just do your research i don't recommend any one particular brand find one that works for you but yeah health food stores grocery stores 
new age shops. Uh, you can find that everywhere and it's really not that expensive. Um, the second remedy I want to talk about is another liquid. So this is passion flower. Now passion flower you can get in tincture form like this one or you can get it in capsule form as well. Um, you could also buy it as a tea. Um, but I like the tincture form for traveling because it's really fast acting when it's in this form. Um, you just follow the directions on the bottle of how much you should put in the dropper. Um, different brands are going to vary. And within 20 minutes, you will start to feel a difference. This stuff doesn't make you drowsy. It doesn't make you feel overly relaxed, which is important when you're traveling. You still want to be alert and aware of what's going on, but it really, really takes the edge off. Uh, I love this stuff. I've been taking it for almost about 15, well, 15 16 years now, um, on and off. I, I haven't needed it in a really long time, but I like to carry it with me, even if I'm just going traveling around the city if I'm going to the store I'm going to the beach or whatever I like to have some of the stuff with me just knowing it's there in case I need it um, it's also really helpful so yeah passion flower this stuff is fantastic the next remedy I want to talk about um, is lemon balm now I have this here in capsule form but again with lemon balm you can buy it in tincture form and you can buy it as a tea. I just happen to have the capsules here. That's what was available at the store at the time. Um, like passion flower, this stuff is not addictive. You take it when you need it. Um, it. It makes you a bit more, I wouldn't say it's drowsy. It doesn't make you drowsy, but I find it a bit more relaxing. So I like to take this one towards the end of the day when I'm getting closer to sleep time. Um, it's certainly not as um, potent in that respect as valerian. You may have heard of valerian. That's another herb that's used for sleep. Um, but it really, it does take the edge off. It's, it's great stuff. This, it's, this stuff's non-addictive, so you don't have to worry about having to depend on it after. You can stop taking it whenever you want. But uh, yeah, I always recommend having some on hand because... Just knowing that you have it in case you need it certainly helps. The next remedy I want to talk about is magnesium. So this form of magnesium I have here is magnesium bisglinate. Um, I recommend this one because um, it doesn't cause any digestive upsets. Um, there's cheaper forms of magnesium on the market. There's magnesium citrate. You want to be careful with that one. It is helpful for its intended purpose. It does help we want relax the muscles, relax the nervous system, helps with sleep, um, but it can also cause the runs. And that's not something you want to be dealing with, especially before you're getting on a plane. So uh, if you do have magnesium citrate, just make sure you know what your threshold is before it starts to cause digestive issues so that's an important tip there and with all of these remedies um, don't just start taking them a couple days before or the day of travel uh, you want to see how you react to them you want to see what your dosage needs to be everybody's different um, so in the weeks before uh, prepare get your kit ready um, and start to take the remedies and see how they react with you. You don't want any surprises when uh, you're about to get on a plane or you're in a foreign country. The last supplement I want to show you is ginger. Now I have a giant economy size bottle here. Um, I wouldn't usually take this traveling with me because I like to bring things more compact. But this is what I have today. Um, ginger is amazing. I mean, a lot of us, when we're nervous and anxious, uh, we tend to feel nauseous and we get abdominal cramping. Uh, we may even vomit. Ginger will ease your nausea. It can prevent vomiting. Um, it's just, it improves circulation. It's just so good. I've even had like lower digestive upsets and this has helped that too. Uh, ginger is, carry it with you all the time. It's amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. 
Now, on to our final item, which is not a supplement, it's actually a food. And I have here raw pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are such a great snack to bring with you when you're traveling. Um, so they're not nuts, so that's a plus. Um, they're high in magnesium, so magnesium, we had that supplement here, um, relaxes the nervous system, relaxes the muscles, helps you sleep. Uh, lots of good fats in here. It's low in, uh, low in sugars and carbohydrates, so keeps your glycemic index at an even keel so you don't get those spikes in blood sugar and it's very filling. Now I have raw pumpkin seeds here. I like to eat raw because um, the oils haven't been heated. Um, oils and nuts and seeds can go off very quickly when they're heated. They're not as healthful after they've been roasted. So I prefer raw. But that being said, nuts and seeds when you're going to certain countries. For example, when I traveled to Australia, I actually brought roasted pumpkin seeds with me because you're not allowed to bring raw nuts or seeds into that country. So again, that's why research and preparation beforehand is so important uh, before you go anywhere to make sure you're not gonna have any issues bringing this stuff. But yeah, I, lo I love pumpkin seeds, it's great. Um, yeah, so for 10, 10 plus years that I've been traveling I've carried these things with me amongst some other things. In a future video, I will talk about my travel immune system kit, uh, which is really come in handy. And I know it's gonna come in handy, especially in today's day and age, uh, when we start moving around again. Well, I hope these tips helped you. Um, these six remedies have helped me so much over the years and I've been able to travel around the world because of them. So let me know if they work for you and let me know some of your remedies you like to bring with you when you travel to help keep the panic attacks and anxiety at bay. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. See you next time.